When you first get a script for a play, if you're doing music for it, you obviously look at how will the music help time pass? Will there be underscoring while they're talking? And then you start thinking about what instruments do I get to use? What kind of sound does it want to have? So it's both structural and, and technical and then also musical in terms of what will support the way the show is. It's scary and it's also a sort of fractured, horrible love story. Paul Sheldon is a romance novelist and so misery goes between the fact of the material he's written, which are these romance novels, and the things that are happening on stage, which are anything but romantic. And I think the crisscross of those two things, of the two genres, was something I was interested in playing with. The thing that we have that no one else can do is we have these two people alone on stage in a room, and the audience is stuck in that room with these people. So the music is there, I think, to draw the audience in, keep the audience there, and then get out of their way when the play is running on full steam. I'm a big fan of the film, I'm a huge fan of the book, and I think what's fun here is that it's a completely different thing, but very much worthy of the other two.